Question number 7 says that a solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 cm and radius 60 cm standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 cm is placed upright in a right circular cylinder which was full of water such that it touches the bottom. We have to find the volume of the water left in the cylinder if the radius of the cylinder is 60 cm and its height is 180 cm. So let's draw the figure first and this is how the figure looks like. We have a cylinder in which we have a hemisphere which is surmounted by a cone. The radius of the hemisphere, cylinder and the cone is same that is 60 centimeters. So for all we can write that R equals 60 centimeters. The height of the cone is 120 centimeters. So we can write that h, small h equals 120 centimeters. And the height of the cylinder, which is capital H, equals 180 centimeters. Now, from the figure, we can clearly see that once we have got the solid, which is a combination of a hemisphere and a cone, into the cylinder, this is the space which is left for water. So now what we can say is the volume of cylinder will be equal to the volume of solid which is the sum of hemisphere and the cones volume plus the volume of water left. So from this we can actually write that the volume of water which is left will be equal to the volume of cylinder minus the volume of solid. So let's substitute the formulas here. Volume of cylinder is pi r square h minus volume of solid which is the sum of the volumes of the cone and the hemisphere, we write it as 1 by 3 pi r square h minus 2 by 3 pi r cube. We can take 1 by 3 pi r square common because the radius for all three of them is same as we had discussed initially. So actually here in place of r square we can write it as small r square. So we are left with 3h minus h minus 2r inside the brackets. Now let's substitute the values. We get that as 1 by 3 times 22 times 22 by 7 times 60 times 60. Inside the brackets we have 3 times capital H that is 3 times 180 which will be 540 minus small h which is 120 minus 2r that is 2 times 60 so 120. So this one further calculation gives us the answer as 79 lakh 20 thousand centimeter cube divided by 7 as the volume of water which is left. Now if we try to convert it into meter cube the answer that we will get is 1.131 meter cube. So this is the amount of water or the volume of water which was left into the cylinder after we had immersed a solid which was consisting of a right circular cone and a hemisphere. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.